What's up? So I just wanted to make a quick video showing my settings for Shadow of the Colossus on the PC SX2 emulator. It's a PS2 emulator. Um, in case you didn't already know that, which I'm sure you did. Uh, but I got the game mo running mostly stable. I played the whole thing last week and streamed it and everything. Um, and it ran well for me. So I'll, first thing I'll show is the plugin settings. Most of the stuff you're not going to need to change, uh, but you might need to change the GS thing. Depends on your CPU, though. Next thing is the emulation settings. Now, most of this stuff is default. Did put clamping mode on none under VUs, VUS or whatever. GS window is kind of personal personal preference. Like if you want it to be widescreen instead of the original 4.3. Speed hacks, you definitely want to change if, if you're having frame rate troubles. Um, I put EE cycle rate at 2, VU cycle stealing at 2. And that made it actually a very big difference to the frame rate. It's the reason why it's running at 60 on my PC. Also, you do want MTVU checked because it normally isn't. Next bit is the graphics card settings or just the video settings. Um, and it kind of depends on what graphics card you have. I suggest using a hardware renderer, whether it's DirectX 9 or DirectX 11, because the software will not use your actual graphics card and you'll probably get worse performance. Resolution is again dependent on your um, graphics card, what you can do. So if you're getting a bad frame rate, you might want to lower it. Also, same thing with the Nisiotropic filtering and MIP mapping. Both of those are just kind of superficial. Not, you don't need them to get the game running. They just make it look a lot better. One thing you do want to put on is CRC hack level and aggressive. And actually, this little thing that pops up here even tells you to for this game, Shadow of the Colossus, obviously. Um, and then the other thing you want is under the advanced settings and hacks, you want half pixel offset on normal. Because if you don't, there'll be like this little silhouette around the characters, and it looks weird, and obviously you just don't want it. But that's about it. I didn't really, there's not really anything else that you need to enable to get the game running. Um, it's mostly default, but just those speed hacks and a couple other things. So that's basically all of it. I streamed the entire game, and it went pretty smoothly. Like, it was good frame rate the whole time. Wasn't really any glitches. It didn't really crash on me at all and as always with this game it was a blast to play it's one of the best games ever so hopefully this helps some of you out there get the game running um on pc sx2 which can be a bit tricky but that is all thanks for watching peace out